So I'm so excited because I switched over my room. I totally revamped it. If you haven't seen the videos beforehand, yeah, I just um, switched it all around. So now you guys can see the back. The back. All my mess there. And I've got, it's just, this is my little spot. And I love it. Alright, so I already prepped and I already primed my face and I already put a BB cream. And I'm using today, yes I did, I got it, the Scylla sponge. And I, you guys probably saw this already on other tutorials, but you haven't seen me using it. And actually, I don't know how I feel about it. It was kind of really hard to get in through my nose, eyes, like around here. I don't know. I, I'm, mm, I don't know. So, all right, jumping right in. I'm gonna use the Infallible Pro Matte in 105 Natural Beige. Mm. All right, so, done with the face. I don't really know how I feel about the Scylla Sponge. I don't know. Mm. Blends kind of good, kind of evenly, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to get in the crevices with it, so. I need to do a few little more tries with it, and then we'll see. So, now, contour. Love this palette. I usually go in dark light colors, these two here, and I usually go in to lighten with these. went ahead and blended 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 boom boom bam but I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys how I do my nose I, I did it kind of sloppy today I'm sorry you guys and I forgot to say the brushes that I'm using Morphe B36 to blend my nose and a BH Cosmetics number 32 for the highlight. With my the buffer brush from um, Makeup Addiction. This is an awesome brush. So yeah, LA Girl Pro Powder Banana. Color Banana. Love that color. Line it up right here. Hi guys, I'm back. Yes, I know. I did my eyebrows off camera yes I will be doing a full tutorial on how I do my eyebrows and I do them a number of different ways um, today I'm not really hundred percent sure that I like them I used Mac a Mac very thin precision one to line them up and then I use the per powder so today I'm just gonna be you I'm, I'm actually gonna be using two palettes one is the Lorac well they're both Lorac Lorac Pro and I'm actually going to start by going in with, you see it's this nice like burnt orangey color. And I'm going to be using Morphe Y16 brush. I'm just going to 
dip that in there. Oh, and I already prime, prepped my eyes. I used the MAC Paint Pop to do that. And I'm just going to go in, slowly start just blending it all through the top here. Okay, so now once you've got that nice burnt orange, like it's a burnt orange, like the Anastasia palette, well, whatever, you got it nice in there. Remember, we're not focusing on the outer view, we're just focusing on the inner. Now you're just going to take another, well, I have a Morphe Y19, this little nice brush here, and I'm going to take the Lorac Unzipped palette, and I'm actually going to start going in a little bit closer in with this color. It's called Unconditional. It's right here. And so you're going to just start going. Now remember, Lorac is like super pigmented. So you want to just start right here. And you want to just blend that. Slowly. Make sure you get some nice thin brushes because you want to start nice fluffy brushes at least so hi guys okay so now that you got all that those two colors blended in pretty well um, you're gonna go go ahead and grab any kind of little just angled brush I don't even know where I got this from and you're gonna go in back into the palette, the, the zipped pro, whatever, the zipped one. And you're gonna go and you're gonna grab this color up top here. And you're gonna form a little cut crease on top here. Okay, so you're gonna grab and you're gonna just start a cut crease. I have this Sigma Beauty um, brush that they sent me for free. It's a shader crease E47. It's a tiny little brush. You want to make sure you have one of these so then you can just start going in and just slowly start blending out this color. And I love this little brush. Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion in color Eden. It's just super light, and so you can just put it under. I I use my Sig my Sigma cut crease E62 brush, and I've already got that all set up. And you just want to start a, a cut crease. Um, so you're gonna just go in.
Okay guys, so now what we're gonna do after you set that and you don't have to go all the way because we're like I said We're gonna do the outer V very Shortly very nicely. I'm gonna show you how guys how to do it. You're gonna go back into the The Lorac palette the unzipped one. I think that's what it's called. I don't even know and You're going to get like um, I have a Mac brush. It's so old. It's I don't even know what number it is, but it's this one here and it's going to pack on color and that's what we want to do in here so we're going to go into the color unreal which is right here this one here and we're going to pack on that color don't be shy to pack it on either like pack that sucker on Okay, so now that we got that color nice and packed on where we need to have it packed on, we're going to start working on the outer Vs, okay? So you're going to go back into the Pro Palette. You're going to take the terracotta color again, that orange, burnt orange color, and you're going to start. You're going to take that same Morphe Y16 brush, and you're going to start just slowly... So after you get the terracotta color going into the outer V, you want to go into the Lorac Unzipped and you're going to start back again with Unconditional. Okay, and you want to start working that with the same brush you used before. The I've got the Morphe Y19 and you want to grab that one again. Just dip it into the color. Make sure you got enough of it and then just start working on the outer V there. Okay, so what you want to finally do is you want to finally grab that um, dark color unbrighted and maybe a little bit of the untamed and you want to make sure you pack that on pack that on at the outer V this and we're gonna put that right here okay 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 so yes I know I'm sorry I went ahead and like finished my eyes did my concealer I'm sorry I just decided to like do this so late and I'm just sorry I'm sorry guys I'm sorry I swear the next time it'll be step by step I just ran ahead and did it but I wanted to show you guys what I what I used so I used this Tarte Shape Tape for concealer just did a winged eyeliner I used the L'Oreal gel um, that it comes like in a little jar it's black I just use that to do the eyeliner then I used Coco Lashes Queen Bee I love Coco Lashes Queen Bee so the right Leah Queen Bee if you can see it okay and then all I did was put better than sex mascara on them and right now I am up to blush so let's get some blush on oh and I'm using the NYX ombre blush in mauve okay so we're gonna go ahead and use the hula benefit just to give our face some little more color mm -hmm. You want to get some on your forehead. So I'm going to do the Infallible Pro Matte by L'Oreal. I'm using an e.l.f. big just powder brush. And I'm just going to pack that on.
I chose the Anastasia Beverly Hills, of course. And I'm gonna do pink heart um, right in here. I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. You just wanna. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, I did my lips off. Camera. It's just like four o'clock in the morning. And just thanks for tuning in. I love you guys. Remember, hit that subscribe, hit that share, hit that like so I can start moving around and showing people what I really have. Um, love you guys. Love you, love you, love you.